Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. This is Jason, and it, today is Sunday, April 26th, 2020. Look at this. Not a single vehicle on the road. Uh, so about a week ago, <laughs> um, anyways, uh, about a week ago, the mayor of Cebu City decided to do a coding system for vehicles. So if your vehicle license plate ends in an even number, you can go out on certain days. If it ends in an odd number, you can go out on certain days. Um, but Sundays... Unless you're exempted, there's an exemption list. Unless you're exempted, there are to be no vehicles out on the road. No cars, no motorcycles. Um, it looks like the food delivery vehicles are exempt. I just saw a Burger King bike go by. Uh, I seen Food Panda already. But if, if, if you're just using a personal vehicle, there is no going out in your vehicle today. So any vehicle you see out, like this one, uh, has some sort of exemption. And they are pretty serious about that. And because of that, a lot of businesses are closed today, like that laundry mat across the street, soft wash. Um, if you don't have a car to get to work, well, the business stays closed. So what am I doing? Um, I found out that a Chinese restaurant down the street is actually open today. So I am on my way to get a special birthday lunch. Uh, yeah, today is my birthday. I'm 42. This is the way I planned on spending my birthday. But, like they say, it is what it is. On a normal day, I wouldn't, I, I couldn't walk in the street like this. Couldn't do it. Wouldn't be possible. Uh, the nice part is the fruit stand's still open across the street. Oops. So I might stop there on the way back. Looks like they have a lot of bananas. I want some bananas. But first, I will get my lunch. Anyways. Yeah, so not too many things open today. Basically, if, if you can walk to work, then yeah, you can open. You know, a lot of these, uh, hello, a lot of these sorry, sorry stores are open because most of them are an extension of people's houses. Um, yeah, so not many updates. Um, what have I done in the past year? Uh, last August, or last April, I was living in Da Nang, Vietnam. I wasn't doing videos back then, so unfortunately, uh, you won't find any Vietnam videos uh, on my list. But once this is all over, or at least mostly over, I plan on getting back to Vietnam and getting those videos that I should have gotten a year ago. So last April I was in Vietnam. Last May, I think it was last May, I went to, where did I go? I went to Taiwan, Taipei. I went to Malaysia. Uh, Kuala Lumpur and then last let's see last July I was in Thailand and then I went to Laos for the first time that was an interesting experience Laos sorry for the music yeah. 
people are still trying to enjoy themselves even though they've been locked down for a month now. April 28th will be one month since the enhanced community quarantine took effect. Hopefully it will be lifted partially on May 15th. I'm kind of enjoying this a little bit. Um, like I said, on a normal day, I wouldn't be able to walk down the street like this. So it's not too bad. Here's a food panda bike. The barangay's got a little bit of action going on, not much. It appears the gas station is open. Like I said, if you live close to your work, in walking distance no problem but a lot of people they live far away or in other cities like there's a convenience store near my apartment and it's been closed since last week because I believe the people who city unless you're an, uh, considered an essential worker and they narrow down what an essential worker is they narrowed down that list in the last week so people uh, working in convenience stores supermarkets pharmacies are no longer considered essential so um, I'm not sure how that's affecting supermarkets I haven't been to the supermarket today but a few days ago it was still open as far as I know ah. yeah so last year I moved here to Cebu last August and I've been here pretty much since then I as you guys saw I traveled to Manila Baguio Davao Okay, in the Oro. So I've been around the Philippines, oh, Ilo Ilo. So the last year has had a lot of travel. I'm, I'm really fortunate. This channel is growing by leaps and bounds. The last time I checked, I'm up to 917 subscribers, which is awesome. So what are my plans for my 42nd year on this earth? Well, once these restrictions are lifted and I can get on a plane, then I hope to get to Vietnam, I hope to get to Thailand, I hope to get to Malaysia. But it all depends on them. It all depends on when they open up. And they may not open up. If they don't open up, I don't blame them one bit. It's a big risk to let foreigners in not knowing if they're going to come down with the situation or not I call it the situation so if I was a country and I had and I had my shit under control I probably would be really reluctant to let uh, foreigners into my country until they came up with a treatment or came up with a vaccine so I wouldn't blame them I hope to get out to other countries this year but it may not happen it may not be possible and that's okay if I am here in the Philippines then I will get you guys videos from other places that I haven't been or places I haven't videoed yet Rock Eye, like Palawan, um, so many other places I haven't been, or many other places I haven't uh, done videos on. I've been to a lot of places in the Philippines, but I wasn't doing my channel back then, so I didn't get to record those things for you guys. All right, so I'm just about here. We'll see if the restaurant is open. They said they were going to be open. But 
what they say in Asia and what they actually do are two different things. So we'll go up and see. I'm walking up to what's called the Gaisano Country Mall. I think I did a video on this place uh, before. Gaisano Country Mall was one of the first malls ever in Cebu. So this was open right around 1994, I believe. 1993, 1994. Uh, I know there's at least one or two of my viewers that were around back then. So they would probably remember when it opened. Now it's just kind of considered an older mall. And they still... They still uh, maintain things pretty well. However, you know, most of the foreigners they prefer to go to you know, your Ayala's, your SM's, so on and so forth. to get upstairs so that's where that restaurant is we'll see if it's open if so that'll be my birthday lunch Chinese food is my favorite food but Chinese food in the Philippines isn't exactly the same as it is in the States but that's okay I'll take what I can get so we'll see It's okay. I think they will. Ah, that's it, because it's not noon yet. So I will wait a little while and see if they open up. Anyways, I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna head over to the supermarket, see what I can buy, and then I'll come back up to the Chinese place. So for Asia Unscripted, this is Jason, and I will see you guys again soon. Keep safe.